let's see what we have here today. Oh, <laughs> Kali Muscle, he's my old friend. He remembers me real well. Let's see what he's saying. I love you, big boy. Wait, did you guys see that? Maybe he's the big boy sugar daddy. I just never understood these people. I was in prison with them. They all would get killed. All right, so me and Cali, we got a history together. You know, he was originally mad at me. He wanted to come and, uh, I don't know, maybe pull out a knife on me. Do something to me because, you know, I was interviewing Richard Rodriguez. And Richard said, um, you know, he was one of his customers. And he showed his uh, his order of steroids. And at the time, Cali was really pissed about it. And said, I'm a liar. I'm a troll and all this shit. But look what happens now. Years later, he admits to doing the fucking steroids. So, but he still hates me, even though I was telling the truth. So I'm not the liar that he was calling me. But now, you guys know about the, the stuff that's been going on with Joey Stacks and, uh, and Fat Boy. Well, of course, Kali Muscle has to get involved because he's really close, very close. I'm going to get into it here in a bit with Big Boy. So let's watch this together and I'm going to react to it. Uh, so we gonna go show it off, man. We're supposed to meet up there with some guys. And that rap. We'll go up there early morning, have some fun, you know what I mean? Just representing Cali, man, you know what I mean? Best coast is the West Coast. We handle s like men supposed to. You oh, know like men? No pun intended. I Let's love see how many hit. My Handle business like you post to. Uh huh. So that's how they handle shit in the West Coast. Go back. Let's watch that again. What he said here, this asshole. Let's go back a little bit here. Cali, man. You know what I mean? Pay attention. West Coast is the West Coast. We handle shit like men supposed to. You know what I'm talking about? No pun uh -huh. intended. I love you, big boy. My beautiful. Wait, so maybe big boy is dancing on his lap. Could it be that? He's the sugar daddy? Look why we're saying he loves him. And he's talking the baby talk. Let's see what else his asshole's got to say now. Supposed to when suckers lying. Uh -huh. and you know, what type of individuals now? We don't handle it over here I in the East like you guys do. People. I was in prison with them. They all would get killed. Like all, anybody that played with a man lying on his You're playing. Name You're playing a lot. Making up habitual lies. Where that, that's like... Y'all accepting somebody in your house and didn't know it's the vampire and he killed up everybody in the house. You see what I'm saying? See why he's so offended? We because sent for the Texas boy, which we don't hate no. Well, hold on, you know, know why he's so offended? Because Stax, he, he blew his cover. He's the fucking sugar daddy. He, he, to me, it sounds like he is. But let's see what else he has to say about it. Nobody in no place of the world. We love everybody, especially we. With Texas, I got the most love in my life in Texas. Yeah, how many people dancing for you there? I do in Cali, so I love more over there. Texas. I got family that live in Texas, and whatever. Uh huh. The case may be, y'all just stuck on that state and city. You little. Some you shit happened to the prison, man. He liked it too much. Work for the system to make. He found big boy now. Real people that is making real money love everybody everywhere. <laughs> Let me tell you, you go watch the Andrew Tate, he'll tell you rich people don't care your color, where you're from, nothing. They all be whatever. Yeah, they got the money because they can buy whatever person they want to dance on them. Never understand. You get on the internet and slander a man. Me, I've been on the internet 14 years, 15. I always had just trolls that were strangers. That's fine. You know, when you're a troll, you're a stranger, who cares? You try to make them a few dollars because you're a demon anyway. That's me. So you don't care who you talk about because you don't think you'll never see him, right? But a guy that we bring in the circle, yes, in the circle. Me and Big Boy are bigger than y'all would ever know because we don't tell y'all on the internet. We don't have to, oh, I feel sad. Oh, me and Big Boy, oh, we signed a contract again. We don't have to do all that. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. That? Go back don't over know there. Everything. Oh, in did you hear life. that? Look at that one more time. Yes, in the circle. Me and Big Boy are bigger than y'all would ever know, because we don't tell y'all on the internet. We don't have to, oh, I feel sad. Oh, me and Big Boy, oh, we signed a contract again. We don't have to do See? all that. You hear <laughs> you that? that? 
we don't have we don't have to tell everybody on the internet we're bigger than you guys know we don't have to sign a contract to me i'm not accusing okay i'm not saying but it seems to me that this guy could be the sugar daddy asking big boy for the lap dances all the time investing all his money in him and you know what come to think about it now i'm remembering every video he's ever filmed with big boy right they used to put him out on each other's channel like the same exact video like not even edited different different camera angles nothing the same exact video the same day on both channels and on facebook where kali muscle makes all his money because facebook you guys don't know they pay 10 times more uh than youtube and he he gets great views on there and god bless him you know i'm all for people making money but this is showing me that he could be pig boys sugar daddy and that's why he's so pissed do all that <laughs> you said that y'all don't know everything tell me i'm wrong in real life so here go my big boy spend his money on fly him out and he come in a circle with ulterior motives, you know, waiting for something he don't like. Big boy, big boy didn't put me in first class. Oh, I'm gonna go on the internet and slander him. And look at this motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker nerd tell me and the crew, he spent what, 50,000 on this goatee? And here it is, he ain't got BB dying, that's just plain gold. When I was back in Oakland years ago, you know how much I spent on that grill? He got 1,500, man. <laughs> this right here, he has his. And we only spent 20. Yeah. People want to be that famous to risk your life? Come on, man. Make your way. We the reason that dude got to follow. When we put him on our viral videos. Yes, we put it like, come on, bro. You see how he's talking? Like, we, right? Everything is him and Big Boy as a team. They do a lot of videos together. And the way he's talking to me, and again, I'm not accusing, okay? But it seems to me he is the guy behind Big Boy. And that's why he said in the beginning of the video, I love you, big boy. Like, just y'all on the internet, y'all gotta stop being bots and believe it. anything. He's gonna be pissed without. at me for this one. I had to uh, do that years ago when somebody came out. Oh my God, he did G4P. And uh -huh. everybody ran with You're him. still doing Instead the G4P. Of, oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> with big boy he just on your lap. for years talking about that. So me being a troll I am, I just fed into it. Now the now the L B G G Q Q love me. <laughs> of course you love them too. <laughs> I'm crazy, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. You love them, them too, you probably pain them. I'm tired of about that. Uh, big boy handle it like he should have. Hey, we gotta hit the V. I'm gonna do some skins and play. He can't it, talk about that stuff, see? Yeah, he can't talk about stuff because he don't wanna talk about that stuff. And the funny part is I remember, okay, he's so mad about Joey Stacks pulling a knife, right? In the meantime, he pulled a knife on somebody too. And I'm not even going to show this vi that video on here. I'll put a link in the bottom because if you show it on YouTube, they'll fuck off my video. But go look it up, all right? I'll put the link in the bottom. He pulled a, a knife on somebody. Then he also pulled a knife out on one of my close friends, Cassidy Campbell, at an expo. When he came to troll him, he pulled a knife out on him. So it looks like to me, he could be big boy sugar daddy what do you guys think comment below and again Callie I ain't accusing you of those things but looking at the way you're acting and the way you're talking you know in the beginning I can't help but think of these things